Hey, 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 Gemini, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your weekend reading from June 26th to the 28th. This is for my Geminians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Gemini, before you leave. I do appreciate it, and thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, the information can be found in the description box below to my Etsy shop. I'm going to grab four cards here and then get a channeled message just for you, Gemini. All right. One more card. What's going on for Gemini for the weekend? Okay. We get the Six of Wands, the Two of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. Ace of Wands. All right, let's see what's up with Spirit. Be careful of your nervous energy this weekend, Gemini. They're saying some of you may become flustered for no reason at all. And this is the um, energy shift they're saying right now. Does that have to do with Mercury too? Okay, Mercury's retrograde, so that's a component. So just be aware of the shift in energy within you, and it may you just may feel a little bit off balance. They're saying meditation may work, may help, movement, movement like exercise, just walking, anything will help balance this energy. Okay. All right. Ooh, three of swords at the bottom of the deck as I look. All right, let's see what's going on. Hmm. Are they... Are they listening to their intuition here? Okay. You've got to listen to your intuition when it comes to work, Gemini. The Two of Swords is across from the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like, because they're saying, yes, yes, you're listening to your intuition, but I feel like there's something, they're saying you've got to delve a little bit deeper. Try something different in your meditation. Okay, you just may tap into something else, but there's something that needs to be known or wants to mean be known, wants to come out in relation to your work, Gemini. So you're, yeah, and it's, it's going to help you tremendously with whatever it is that you're doing. Yeah, it will be victorious here. You've got the Six of Wands here. That's the victory card that's being seen as well in the spotlight. So you will drive forward with this idea with the emperor energy. Okay, you just got to clean up the vibration. Yeah, see? The chariots. So the chariot, th this is why. If you're not balanced and you're going forward with the chariot, this is cancer energy, then... The chariot's just all over the place. It's, it gets all flustered, like Spirit was saying, you know, you do or will right now. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Tell me about the Six of Wands. This is Leo energy. You could have Leo in your chart. Seven of Cups. Oh, you're going to have a lot of options. I feel this. Is this love or business? This is business. It, I mean, it may be love, but you're going to need strength. I think this is going to surprise you, all right? But you're going to have a lot of options. You're going to have an, a couple of different opportunities that you're going to be looking at. What should Gemini know about these opportunities? Anything specific? Why is she... Oh. Seven of Wands. Hmm.
Okay, be careful about your defenses, Gemini. <laughs> okay. They're saying you don't need to be defensive because I feel like there'll be competition for these positions, but they're saying you've already won. So you can pick whatever it is that you want because they're, they're all going to want you. It doesn't matter what the competition is because they're going to choose you. But why the strength? Ten of Cups. Emotional fulfillment. Ooh, I feel like you're going to have to make a big move here, Gemini. This is going to be, it may literally be a move. And this is maybe why you need strength, because it's going to require you to move and possibly move away from family, say, or just someplace new that, I don't know, is, is going to, maybe you've got some fixed energy in your chart and you, you try to veer away from change. That could be it. Tell me why the Two of Swords is here. Tell me why the Two of Swords is here. Hermit energy. Yeah. See? You already instinctively know what you need to do. You need to look within and you need to gain that wisdom and connect with that intuition about this work. Because whatever this is, this I feel like it's a, it's a gem of a secret here. Not even necessarily a secret. It's... It's like taking what you already have, right? Taking your gifts and applying them into whatever this is. And that is what is going to spark these opportunities. Okay. Eight of Pentacles, the magician. Yeah, you are the manifestor, Gemini. This is Gemini energy. You're gonna manifest this and you're gonna move forward. This is going to be extremely successful for you. Very lucrative. I'm feeling a lot of abundance. Yeah. Judgment card. You're going to get some epiphanies when you go into this hermit mode. Four of Wands. And you're going to find your stability from all this. You may even find a twin wherever it is that you're moving to. If it's not a twin, it's a soulmate. Yeah. You're taking a leap of faith. So don't be afraid to take that leap of faith, okay? Remember the strength, remember the Leo in you, right? We all have the lion in us. So remember to dig deep for that and you need to get in touch with your intuition because that holds the key to all this that comes after. Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Why is this here? Okay, this is in relation to love. The Six of Pentacles, they're wanting you to remember what that was because the Four of Pentacles is right underneath and then you have, wow, the Five of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Okay, they're saying don't accept this when it comes to love. There may be somebody trying to come back with this reunion card, but I don't think you're going to go for it. I think you're moving on, and I think you're moving on to bigger and better things here. All right? I think you see through this energy, this seven of swords, okay, and five of wands energy. Yep. All right, Gemini. I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't, if you already have, thank you so much. Don't forget to comment. Let me know if this video resonates with you. Have yourself a fabulous weekend, Gemini, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Namaste.